I wanted to take a look at two more examples of multiplying signed mixed numbers. The first thing we'll do here is convert these to improper fractions, then we'll simplify, and then finally we'll multiply. So for negative three and three-fourths, we'll have a negative fraction with a denominator of four, and the numerator would be four times three plus three, which is equal to fifteen. Now in the last video, I did put the negative sign in the numerator, which is fine to do, but for this example, I'm going to go ahead and leave it out front, and then we'll just make sure we determine the correct sign of the product. It really depends on the style of the textbook. Then we'll have times, this fraction has a denominator of five, and the numerator would be five times two plus two, which is equal to twelve. Again, we have a lot of common factors between the numerators and denominators, so I'm going to go ahead and write everything out in prime factored form. So we'll have negative, the prime factorization of fifteen would be three times five, the prime factorization of four would be two times two, the prime factorization of twelve would be two times two times three, and five is prime. So in this form, we can identify all of the common factors between the numerators and denominators that would simplify to one. So here we have five over five, and here we have two over two, and two over two. And now we can go ahead and multiply, knowing this fraction will be in simplest form. So notice we have a negative times a positive, so this will be negative. The numerator would be three times three, which is equal to nine, and the denominator is just one. So our product is just negative nine. Let's take a look at a second example. Notice here we have a product of two negatives, so this product will be positive. First fraction has a denominator of fifteen, and the numerator as an improper fraction would be fifteen times one plus one, which is sixteen, times another negative fraction with a denominator of two, and the numerator would be two times two plus one, which is five. Again, we have a common factor of five here and a common factor of two here, and I always like to show those common factors, so I'll rewrite this one more time as negative. Because the common factor is two, I'll just write eight times two. Fifteen is three times five. Five is prime and two is prime. So here's the common factor of two that simplifies to one, as well as the common factor of five that simplifies to one. So again, we have a negative times a negative, so this fraction will be positive. The numerator would be eight, and the denominator would be three. So this is our simplified product, but it is an improper fraction. Let's go ahead and convert this to a mixed number. So we'll have eight divided by three. There are two threes in eight, with a remainder of two, which means eight-thirds is equal to two, and two-thirds. The fraction is always the remainder over the divisor. Okay, I hope these examples were helpful.